Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Checkers. My name is Rohit and you're watching Tech Checkers. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix OBS Studio black screen error. I just went through all of the internet and find out the solutions and I tried most of them and some of them didn't work. So I thought like, okay, I'll combine all this to talk, all these guides into one video so that you don't need to waste your time going through different videos. Uh, so I just combined all these methods into one video so you can do try all of this and some maybe one or two may uh, fix your issue or the last one. The last two one will mostly fix your uh, issue, like 95% of it is going to fix your issue. I was a person who, uh, like most of the fixes were not working for me, but that's finally those two steps that worked for me. So you can also try those steps. And so you just watch till the end. I uh, just don't get disappointed that the uh, first two didn't work or something. Uh, you can watch till the end. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, like 95% of your problem will be solved after watching this video. So without any more delay, let's jump into the video. Okay guys, uh, so I hope you guys already installed OBS Studio. If you haven't installed OBS Studio, you can go to their website and download the latest version of OBS Studio. Once you install OBS Studio, you can right click on the desktop icon and you can go to open file location. So this will take you to the file directory where you installed OBS Studio. And here you can see I'm running a 64-bit uh, Windows and I will also install 64 like OBS 64. If it's OBS 32, that means you are running a wrong version. So you need to install the 64-bit version of OBS Studio. And mostly like uh, like 90% of you already know this thing because uh, you are probably using Windows for a long time and you already know this thing. So just uh, to make sure that uh, you are using 64-bit. Uh, Once uh, that is confirmed, you can right click on the application and then you can uh, open properties and then you can go to compatibility. So here you can just uh, click on this. If it's not selected, then click on compatible mode. Uh, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7. So it will be uh, unchecked at first time. Uh, so uh, this is this thing you need to check and uh, you need to make Windows 7 as default and then you can click play and then OK. So now it's done. Now you can go back and try to open OBS Studio. And uh, this is a try like now also I'm having issue like my screen is dark, okay? like my screen is black, it's not fixed my issue. So like a 50% of this issue may be fixed by doing these two steps. Uh, if it's not yet fixed, you can follow, like uh, you can continue watching the video. If you are, uh, if this issue is fixed, you can go down and like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more cool videos. And okay, so for those who haven't fixed the issue, uh, next thing you need to do is you need to right click or uh, you need to go uh, to here and search for something called as control panel. So if you are using NVIDIA control panel, you need to open NVIDIA control panel or you can right click, I think, I don't know. Yeah, you can right click and open NVIDIA control panel from here also. So once you are in NVIDIA control panel, you need to go to manage 3D settings and in program settings, you need to go down and from this drop down if it's uh, like disabled state you just uh, click on this show only programs one on this uh, uh, computer and then you can uh, from the drop down list you can select OBS studio probably it will be in somewhere there uh, and once you select that uh, you need to go down and it will be selected as use global settings something like that uh, you just keep it like that or if not working then you can change your integrated graphics so this is like a trial and error method. You can try both of them. If none of them working, you can try this also. And then click apply and that's it. Now you can go back to the OBS studio and try if that fix your issue. And for 75% of them, uh, now it may fix. Uh, let's see if that just get fixed. No. So my uh, for, for me, it's not yet fixed. So what you need to do is uh, you need to follow the next step. So next step is you need to go here and uh, check for display. So yeah, display settings is here, open display settings and uh, then once you are in display settings, you need to scroll down and you can find graphic settings. Click on that and from this browse, uh, you need to find your OBS Studio 64. So you can find it uh, where you install it. Uh, so you just go to that directory and select the OBS Studio 64 bit application file and you can add it to the uh, here and then click on the options. From these options, you can select power savings and click save and uh, that's it. Now you just close 
and uh, then you may have this Adobe Studio uh, in your desktop. If you don't have, you can go to the directory and right click on the application file and run this uh, run with graphics processor and select integrated graphics. And uh, yeah, this will ask you OBS already running or something like that. Just click uh, launch anyway. And now you can see my screen is recording. Uh, so I hope that fix your issue. Like first two methods may work for some people and the last two I am like 100% sure that most of your issue may be fixed by that. Uh, so I know I don't know how you will do this on uh, AMD graphics card but for NVIDIA graphics card users this is the simplest way you can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a helpful video. If so, please like, subscribe, comment your opinion. If you're having some trouble, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned till uh, I upload my next video. Thanks so much. Have a nice day, guys. Don't feel forgiven.